It's a great pleasure to welcome you to the Da Vinci Visualization uh, Laboratory to take a tour of the, you know, of the studio here that we're very happy to have uh, at RICE. We're really excited about it. But when we first conceived of this, it was really about enabling science and enabling researchers to do much more deeper exploration of the kinds of data that now are you know, growing from megabyte, gigabyte that was comfortable in the workstation to you know, multiple tens of gigabytes, tens of terabytes actually, and, and for them to interact and understand what the science and the numbers that was cr crunched on the computers were telling them. The visualization wall is reasonably unique piece of equipment, very high resolution. As you can see, it's made up of 16 screens. Each one of those is equivalent to a, a regular HD display. So in total, we're looking at about 32 megapixels of resolution. And not only that, but we can also present things in uh, 3D stereo. So just like if you go to an IMAX movie theater or see a 3D movie, uh, we can present data in 3D. Uh, we can also track your position in 3D space. So not only are you observing the data in 3D, but you're also interacting with the data. I'm a seismologist, so if I have a 3D seismic image, which is what we work in, I can um, project it here and walk around inside of it, and using the tracking I can actually interpret it with my fingers. <laughs> so with a tracking device on my hand, I can just go through and, and choose features in it that I like, and then those uh, geographic coordinates in the seismic data will be saved and I can use it for, for further work. The technology we, we chose, the support from NSF, the support from Chevron, really allowed us to explore this space and not only get the equipment but also hire a person, Eric Enquist, to really kind of support the faculty and support the workflows that we need to work with. Ultimately this is about scientific workflow. There is a lot of excitement about using the wall finding ways to use visualization as a tool in, in advancing their research. So I think that, you know, and that ranges from not only the, only the departments in science and engineering, but it reaches into architecture, into the social sciences, art history, uh, are also looking at projects where they can use visualization. A clever faculty member, and most of our faculty members are pretty clever, will figure out a way to, to build something into their research program that can take advantage of something like this.